Hello, good evening. Good evening, Heidi. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how are you doing? Fine, teacher. And you? Nice. Nice to hear that. I'm doing good. Thanks so much for asking. It's Monday again, and we are going to start our sessions. Uh, I really hope you have had a great weekend and that you are with this great attitude, you know, towards this week. So we can, you know, together learn about the sessions. And I don't know how you are doing with the exercises on the platform. Have you finished um, there or you have any questions that you would like to ask? I finished the model four. Okay, it's great to hear that. Yeah, we are finishing sec section four this week because tomorrow is the last day for you to finish uh, section four. And then we are starting section five on Wednesday because Wednesday and then Thursday plus uh, Monday and Tuesday next week is going to be the final um, final week. It's going to be the final evaluation, okay? So that tells me, Heidi, that you are doing really good, which is nice, okay? Um, and what about the exercises? Were they difficult? Were they easy to complete? How was the experience, Heidi? In my case, it's difficult, teacher, but... but the my practice i i practice in my grammatical the grammar yes i can see one of the things that i suggest uh, uh, you to do is repeating right uh, whenever you read a text pay attention to the details like whenever there's a comma there's a period when you start the sentence so pay attention to that and see the structures they are using I try to repeat as many times as possible. Try to imitate, you know, uh, somebody's accent, especially someone whose native native language is English. So all of those details, you know, really help. And so you can do that whenever you have some time. It's um, recommended to start imitating, you know, uh, how others speak, especially if it is, um, you know, an American speaker. Okay, um, well, welcome Gerardo, welcome Bea, welcome Miguel. Um, how was your weekend? I'm very fine, very, so many things for my family. See, family time, that's good, great. And what about you? Let's see, Bea and Miguel, how was your weekend? Uh, it was very relaxing. I visited my family. Oh, you visited your family. Nice. I can see. That's really cool. How about your weekend, Miguel? Hi. It's in my weekend, I cleaning my house, washing my clothes. <laughs> and it's in the supermarket. Uh, and my house from, with my wife and my girl and my father and my brother okay uh, so, so very good so you were doing many things at home that's really cool yeah you yeah. had a, a busy weekend okay good uh so thanks so much for sharing i can see breeze is there breeze how was your weekend breeze breeze good night each good evening sorry Okay, good night. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> yes. So bad. And uh, um, uh, it was good. I'm asleep all day, slept <laughs> uh, all on Sunday and Saturday. I wash my clothes. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> Nice. So you slept, which is really good, and you did the laundry and all that. Nice. Nice to hear that. Yes. Whenever we have we have some time, it is meant that it is. I would say uh, it is nice that we also take some time to rest, right? If you can sleep, that's really good. Okay. So thanks so much for sharing. I can see Milton is here. Milton, tell me how was your weekend? 
How was yes. your weekend? Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, uh, how my, was your weekend? My weekend, it was uh, really, really nice. Okay. Because I, I, I was joined with a family in uh, the, the United States. Okay, great. Yes. Uh, he, uh, he have a, 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 a our country, and then uh, we are with with him in another place, uh, uh, the beach. I see. The, see. You are mountain. Great weekend. <laughs> and he, he had a night, uh, uh, last night uh, for for eating. Pupusas. Oh, okay. So you went out uh, to eat pupusas. Uh, uh, Did you uh, try avocado with cheese? Yes. Oh, you did? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, chicharrón. Okay, pork. Okay. Nice. Got meal very, 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 very nice. Is it, it, it was. It was really nice. Awesome, I can see, great. I'm glad to hear. I would say family time is one of the greatest gifts we have, right? Spending time with our family is uh, priceless, okay? So guys, thank you so much for um, joining in the class. Uh, before I start today's topic, I want to know if you have any questions in regards of any uh, section or exercises on the platform, you can ask before I start. Yes, teacher, I have problems with the okay. final exam. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I saw your, uh, I wanted Me to, okay, which one is specifically? So we can talk about it right now. I'm going gonna, gonna to leave some time. Uh, can you mention the sections? It's a letter C. Letter C? Uh, yes. Final test, you said all midterm, midterm, right? Final test. No, it's final, final test. So you finished already all everything? Yeah, it's only one question. Uh, okay, so you, you're telling me you finished week uh, number four already and you're working on section number five? Is that... Yes, I finished all the, the sections. Ah, okay, I can see you. So you basically finished everything already and you want to check a question that belongs to the final test. I can go ahead and do it right now. Okay, we can, we can see it. Yeah, now, now that you ask, let me see, let me get to the final test. Okay, we're not yet there, however, it's okay. I mean, we can do that. Let me see, let me, give me one, one sec because I'm actually working on that. Okay, which one did you say, letter C? Yes, letter C. Letter C, in which you need to rewrite, right? Sentences, am I right? Yes. Oh, okay, letter C. Which one is the one the you have problems with? Uh, the second which, question. Second. What did yes. you What did you write in there? What did you write? Yes, in? I. The question is not eating or drinking in the in the classroom. In my answer is you can eat and drink or drinking in the classroom. Pero me sale mal. <laughs> you can, okay, say, say it again, please. You can. You can eating or drinking in the classroom. I see, I see, but see the mistake. Remember that after the verb, after the modal can, the verb must go in the base form, okay? So after can, we cannot use ing, okay? So in this case, uh -huh. the best one, it will be, can you check on the chat? You can't eat or drink. Eat. But then, oh, okay. then, yes, because if we say drinking or eating, then um, that won't make sense because can't only accept the verb in the base form, okay? So that's, that's the mistake. Try this one and I'm sure it's going to work, okay? Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, good. What was the other question you guys have? I don't know if, if it, I don't know who was, Blanca, was that you? 
Wanted. Yes, in the middle of exam, but you send the answer for the uh, WhatsApp uh, right. in the my principal uh, issue in a little b rewriting sentence. Okay. You send the the answers for the group chat, okay. but the part two. I, I really mistakes. Right. So part two, you said, right? And why I, my principal issue when I use where or was. Uh -huh. This is my principal issue because the first uh, question is George Lucas directed the Star Wars movie. The answer, I, the, uh, my answer is, the Star Wars movies was, uh -huh. but is the correct is where, why is, uh -huh. why this is my question. Yeah, the, it's easy because uh, Star Wars movies is, movies is, is plural. Plural. Then, exactly. If you say was, mm -hmm. then uh, you're not including oh, movies. Oh, okay. The same two. And the number three, Ian Fleming words the James Bond novels. Novels, where it's, it's the James Bond novels where. Exactly. Oh my God. Uh -huh. because In of... word by, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I, I, I understand my, my issue, but uh -huh. the part two, I really, uh, I don't want the answers for the part two, the same uh, part B. Part two, and then which one did you say? And the middle exam? Which, yeah, uh, which number? Which number? Part two, which number? The three number questions. Three. Uh, the th one, two, three. <laughs> okay. Sorry, but yeah. So let's see. It says uh, Char Charlie's or Charlize Theron is an actress. She won an Oscar for her performance in Monster. Is that the one? Sorry. Number three, that's the no, one. No, no, no. Part two, part two. Part two, the, uh -huh. all the questions for part two, one, two, mm -hmm. three. The, for example, comedies are a type of movie they usually make people laugh. Mm -hmm. And we need to use who, that, or which. I got it. And okay. What did you write? What did you write there? Comedies are a type of movie, that's one sentence, and then they usually make people laugh. What did you write? Do you want ah, okay, to... sorry, sorry, I, ah, okay. Uh, they usually make people laugh who comedies are a type of movie. Mm, okay, or that. I see, I see, I see your point. Uh, listen to what it says first first sentence says comedies are a type of movie okay yes. now when it says they usually what mm -hmm. do you think they make reference to this they what is it making a reference to the to the comedies or to the movies or to the type comedies are a type of movie they usually make people laugh this day mm -hmm. what is what is they making a reference to the people the people but the people no. is in the same sentence they usually make people laugh now let me ask you another question they usually <laughs> make people laugh what are they talking about what makes the people laugh the make I... yeah what make what makes people laugh in these two sentences. And two sentences, um, the, the movie, principal uh, comedy of movie. Okay, so what makes people laugh is, is well, well, it's actually, it's not a movie, it's comedies. Comedies is what makes people laugh. Comedy are a type of movie. Oh, okay, okay, comedy. Now, 
if we say that calm is when you listen to a to, uh, to a comedy or I listen to a comedy, we usually laugh, right? Because they're funny. Now, if it's saying mm -hmm. they usually make people laugh, it's because they are adding information about comedies. So we cannot use who because what we are describing is comedies. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. what do we use because we are adding info about comedies because comedy is what makes people laugh. So what do we say? Comedies are a type of movie. And then how do we combine the second sentence? Comedies are a type of movie. First sentence. And Sorry. That. That. Okay. Then. Usually, make people laugh. Awesome. Yeah, that's what it is. Um. Comedies are a type of movie that usually make people laugh. Or you can say comedies are a type of movie which usually make people laugh because you can use either here. Both are okay. So you okay. can so enter who? that answer and but yes. don't say who. Who is about people? And comedies is just you know comedies are a type of movie that usually that that usually <clears throat> usually make people laugh. Exactly. Okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I may I need check because there exists a little space in in the words. Correct. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Does it work? And yes, yes, it's work. Mm -hmm. it works. Okay, good. And what about the second one? Maybe we Two can ask. We can we okay. can ask the class to help us. Uh, so what is the second one? I think it's Two and a Half Men. It's a popular TV show. It stars Charlie Sheen, right? That's the. Let me send it to the. Uh, okay. We're gonna check that, Alex. So this is number two, guys. How do we make this one? Two and a Half Men is popular. It's oh. a popular TV oh. show. Uh huh. What correct. I'm, I'm correct. Um, incorrect point is uh, number three, no, not number four in my okay. question. All right. All right. We're going to check that. We're going to check that. Let's finish this one, the one I sent, guys. On the chat, you have this sentence. Can you be uh, so kind as to help me out with this response? Two and a Half Men is a popular TV show. It, it stars Charlie Sheen. So how do we make this into a relative clause? What do we use here? What is the relative pronoun that we need? Do we need which? Do we need that? Or do we need who? What do we need? It's who. Okay, and then if we say who, who, who why do we have to use who here? Uh, Charlize Theron. Okay, so it stars Charlie Charlie Sheen, I think is the pronunciation. It stars, okay? But then take a look at the first sentence. It says, two and a half men is a popular TV show. Now, this it, this it stars, this it, what does this it refers to? Does it refers to, to the star, to Charlie, or does it refers to the TV show? This the TV series. Okay, it's the TV show, right? Is is this basically two and a half men? Is a TV show, so we cannot say who because we are adding information or we are adding more details about the TV show. Two and a half men. Okay, so then what do we need to complete this relative sentence, relative clause? Two and a half men is a popular TV show. Yeah. What do we need here? I'm so sorry. No. Uh, teacher, my, my problem is not I'm sure it's in the first part. First part. Yeah. It's a, a number three. 
Ian Fleming wrote the James Bond novels. Um, I write in the, the, um, the James Bond novels were <clears throat> he and, and, and wrote, were wrote I am flaming, okay. but it's, an, it's wrong in my, in my, in my. Right, right. We are going to finish checking the, the one we have, but I want you to think about uh, what is the past participle of right? Because you're telling me wrote, but then if you think, if you remember, we need to use the past participle. We don't use the simple past. So the, your question is, what is the past participle of this bird? And that's the answer. I'm going to ask you in a minute, okay? Because I want to finish uh, the, the one, two and a half men. So think about it and then let's go back to two and a half men because we haven't finished this one. So two and a half men, what do we need here guys? First question is, are we describing a person? No, we aren't. We are describing, we are adding info about a TV show. Therefore, the only two options are which or that. How do we live it? Two and a half men is a popular TV show, which stars. Uh -huh. Charlie. Mm -hmm. Or we can say two and a half men is a popular TV show that stars Charlie. Those are the only two options that we have, that or which. No, who, because we are not adding information about any person, okay? Now, um, let's take a look at the number three. I don't know if the pronunciation is Char Charlize <laughs> or Charles. I think it's Charlize. Theron is an actress. Now, Charlize. Charlize, okay, thank you. Charlize. Charlize Theron is, Theron is an actress. I don't know who she is. <laughs> or she won a Oscar. Do you know? No, I don't. I don't know who she is. Really? It's no. the uh, uh -huh. Sweet November uh, movie, Sweet November with Keanu Reeves. Mm -hmm. I think I'm not sure about that. <laughs> okay, I only know about. <laughs> okay, I didn't. I haven't seen that thing, but I'm glad you're telling me. Now I'm gonna. That's my homework. Now help me to resolve this because I want to go back to the to the, the question previously asked. So Char Charlize, you said Theron is an actress. Now we are talking about a person, right? In this case, since it's a person, we need to use who. That's it. So how do we one? Who one? Exactly. Who exactly. won an Oscar for her Oscar. performance in Monster? Monster. Monster is a movie. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then, if you when you are speaking, guys, let me be sincere. When you are speaking, you can also say that, and it's accepted. It's accepted. Mm -hmm. But then, who academically, like writing academically? who is the more accepted, but you can still say that, okay? Now, I want to go back to the question we had here. I don't know if you have the answer. What is, what is the answer? Let's see, Alex, what's the answer? Do you have the answer? I answer in, in, par, in, in first part, in the number three, the James Bond, the James Bond novels uh, were wrote by Ian Fleming. When you use uh, where, you need to use the passive voice, where. And after where, where what in this we... case, where is, is and I, I, am, I understand because the novels is a plural. Exactly, exactly. The, the problem is not where, the problem is something else. The problem is that we are using, now my question previously was, we have right is the present tense of this verb, right? Mm -hmm. And then you are saying written, written. Exactly. Somebody saying the answer. Thank you so much. But then we have uh, what we need here is not right, is not wrote, is written. That's what we need. So I should say um, to what was it? Let me see number three, right? Jane, the James Bond's novels were written, were written by, and then the name here. Ian Fleming, I think it is. Okay, so the James novels were written. Remember, remember, this is important. We use 
past participle after the verb to be. If it is in, the, this is passive voice, okay? Uh, remember that passive voice is, is made of uh, verb to be plus mm -hmm. past participle. The verb to be oh, can be in present oh. or it can be in the past. In the past okay. was where. In this case is where, but we need to use um, written, written, okay? And well, guys, thank you so much for asking. Do you have any additional questions or comments uh, about this? Be, I mean, take your time. This is your, this is your time. This is your um, space for you to ask questions. So please don't, don't keep your questions, okay? Ask. Teacher and me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, number three, Charlie Tesson, or Charlie Town, is a, a actress. Charlie, Wait. let me let me find it. Is is it in the same? Charlie Tesson, which won an Oscar? Is it uh, the, the the right question? No, it's who? Because we're talking about Charlie's Theron, which is a person. So who won an Oscar? for her performance is in Monster. Or you're gonna still say Charlize Theron is an actress, that. But I was saying, if you say that, um, this is correct. But mm -hmm. formally speaking, like when you are, uh, when you have to choose between uh, who and that, who is the more recommended because who is more, more, more for people. And in this case, we're talking about Charlize Theron, which is an actress. So therefore we need to say, who okay so is Charlize Theron is an actress who won an Oscar for her performance in Monster that's okay. the way you know it should be okay teacher, thank you yes I, I shared that in in WhatsApp the answers awesome thank you so much I appreciate it okay nice guys is there any other question Have you guys uh, seen today's video? I know some of you already finished the entire exercises, but we are going to we are going to study, okay? Uh, these topics, which I consider you guys have already gone through this. Um, can you guys see my screen? No, teacher. How about now? No. Okay. Give me a second, please. No. Now? No? No. Okay, hold on. I no. think, hold on. Give me a second, please. I think it's frozen. Well, while I'm, I started speaking about this topic, which is um, for today's session. Today's session is se session number 11. So tomorrow we are finishing session number 12. And with that session, we need to be finishing or we have to finish. Um, what, uh, let's see, this is week three. We have to be finishing section number four, okay? So that's, that's basically what we need to consider, okay? And have you seen this video about obligation, prohibition, and permission? Guys? Oh, okay. 